Hey loves, my name is Mashira and you're watching my YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to be doing my no foundation makeup look. It's a quick look and I had to film it in a rush because I've got to get going. That's why I'm not wearing anything on my lips. Anyways, let's get started. Anyways, today is a no foundation look and by no foundation, I mean no foundation, no base. I'm not going to do concealer all over my face instead. It's actually no foundation. I always, always, always start off my makeup with my brows. I'm going to fill them in with this eyebrow pencil that I got in Thailand actually. So I don't know where you can get it. I just got it at like um, 7-Eleven in Thailand. Filling in in a bit to give it some color i always love like getting super close to my mirror so i can really see what i'm doing today i'm just going well the main event for today is i'm going out for sunkai with my mom and my brothers and then i'm going to meet up with my friends afterwards and I'm vlogging today, by the way. But before we go to Sun Kai, um, I have to go take pictures at One Riverside quickly. Um, see, it's a. I fill it in a bit messy, so I just clean it up. Anyways, so before Sun Kai, we have to go to One Riverside to take a few pictures. And then my mom wants to go to Guardian's mega sale or I'm not sure what it's called but it's the Guardian sale. Anyways, also I am in a really big rush because I'm supposed to be leaving at 3.30 and it's now 3.15. Um, yeah, because I, <laughs> I had a lot of stuff to do and to get done before I could sit down and get ready, right? Like, I had to pack my bag, um, my, pack my camera bag. Next is eyebrow gel. I'm using this... Why is it out of focus? It's just why those makeup gurus do it like this. Anyways, it, this is the Catrice Brow Fix Shaping Wax. I don't know if I would recommend this because it doesn't really hold my eyebrows in place. Yeah, it like gives that like fluffy brow look, but after a while my eyebrows just do what they want to do so this is only my first brow shaping product up until recently i've been doing my brows like the 2016 style so i've had like little blocky eyebrows <laughs> up until recently um <laughs> because i don't know that's just how i did my makeup you know and then recently i wanted to try something different um, to try out the fluffy brow look but it's dying down now Anyways, I'm just cleaning it up with a cute -tip. next I put my Ulla Henriksen banana bright stick under my eyes as it as like a brightener and a color corrector but I don't blend it out I just like let it sit there and let my skin absorb it while I do my other steps. So now I take my Real Techniques blush brush and this poor little um, lip crayon that I got like three, four years ago in, in England when I went back. So, but I use it as blush and I've been using it as blush ever since. So, just like that, oh. Oh yeah, wait, <laughs> hold on. I completely missed a step. I forgot to do my contour. Hold on, we'll just leave that there while we do my contour. So I take this Essence Contour Stick from Flormar. I think that's how you pronounce it, Flormar. I've been using this stick for three, three, four years. And I still have a lot to go. <laughs> so I just put a bit on my brush and put it on my cheekbone area like just slightly just a bit and then on my forehead I realized that if I don't have you know a bit of contour I just look really pale because the thing is my concealer is quite bright 
and I put it like all over here so I just need a bit of balance I guess between light and dark and then I just blend 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 with the same brush and then boom I love looking a bit bronze is that the correct word like a bit tan no sun kissed sun kissed I love the sun kissed look but my Thailand tan is fading so I need the brothers makeup for it and then now we go blend the, the blush and then I make sure not to um, get it on my Ole Henriksen under eye bit and I love a little bit of it on my nose as well fun fact for the longest time I was so shy to film any videos of myself without any makeup on because I just wasn't used to seeing myself on camera without makeup and even though like I didn't wear now it's time for nose contour and even though I didn't wear um, heavy makeup this is the brush I'm using I got it in Watson's when I was in Gucci anyways even though I never really wore heavy makeup, by heavy makeup I mean like with foundation and stuff until like about last year, uh, I still wasn't that confident, you know, filming without makeup on, let alone like imagine me filming my makeup process, right? So I basically just forced myself to get over that fear actually, start filming TikToks about skincare and my makeup routine you know so yeah it's time for our under eye concealer i use the chrisms concealer here are the places i put them in oops they go in my hair the reason i put the ola henriksen cc stick under my eyes is not only to hydrate the skin but also give some extra moisture to my concealer mix so that you know it doesn't crack as easily and it doesn't feel dry underneath my eyes as well and also because i use setting powder setting powder setting powder um for my under eye area so yeah i don't want it to be dry or cakey or i take my sigma beauty blending brush and I just blend 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 I start with the areas that I need the most blend in and I let the concealer dry a bit under my eyes so I get the most coverage there boom and then I go from the outer corner to the inner corner so I do the outer corners here and I brush upwards I do that side then I do the other side I try not to brush but instead just pat it and blend it in when I get closer towards the center because I don't want it when I get closer to my nose I mean not the center because um, I don't want it to look streaky and then just blend it okay boom that's done and then for an extra flawless blend I go in with a, a wet beauty blender and then I just blend 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 so it does not look cakey and it doesn't crease okay boom now we've really got a rush it's 3 30 and I have to go in like 15 minutes okay so we've got the this um, was a white translucent setting powder but I mixed some of my powder blush with it to make it pink because I realized I just 
Well, who doesn't love like a pink, a pinkish under eye, right? And yeah, <laughs> I basically DIY'd my own pink setting powder. And I just take it, don't forget my nose and everything. I blend it with my contour. We need to set the concealer in the other places. I'm using the Crescent Setting Powder and my Sigma Beauty Brush. Anyways, you see what I meant by the gel does it not hold my eyebrows up? Um, then I go in with my Sigma Beauty Brow Gel to for more lift. And then I feel that this holds it better, um, so I just combine the two. Okay, max. I use this little, <laughs> this little lip brush actually, and my Mad, Mad Love highlighter, which is broken into pieces, so I have to be careful. And just take a bit of that on the tip of my nose, on the bridge, blend, blend, here, and then here. Time to set it. I use two different setting sprays, first the Kristen one and then my Maybelline Fit Me one. Anyways, this first setting spray is to hydrate all of my makeup and basically melt all the layers together. This is not the best fan because it's too heavy. I have oily skin so I want to make sure all of my makeup stays and like doesn't smudge when my skin starts getting a bit oily when I sweat. That's why I use the Maybelline Fit Me one because that makes sure everything stays in place. Nothing moves with that spray. Then we move on to eyes. I take my Kali Ray eyeliner for my wing. I actually don't use black eyeliner anymore. I use brown because it looks way more natural and <laughs> that's the kind of look I want to go for. I do it a bit messy because I'm going to blend it out as it's fresh. Okay, and boom, that's it. Now it's time for lashes, and I was actually using my lash box just now. Anyways, these lashes are from Lavio. I have a try on TikTok video that you can check out with the names and my discount code. I have 10 more minutes to get ready. I let that dry a bit while I put my white eyeliner on my waterline. This one's from Wet n Wild. I got it in Spain like last year. So I, I'm gonna be so far, I don't know where to get it from Inverni. I'll just do this to my eyelashes so that they aren't straight and they don't like poke. Actually, it's really easy to put these on. I start the, at the inner corner and then boom, just place it there. Okay, done. Now all that's left to do is my lip combo and I'm just gonna do that in the car. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Also follow me on Instagram and TikTok.